latest local spike during the coronavirus pandemic. The city's mayor and the county judge addressed the sharp increase today, just like they did three weeks ago. But since then, the situation has drastically changed. Take a look at the differences in numbers. In those three weeks, our active cases have increased by 4,105. The number of people in, in the hospital with COVID has gone up by 187. That number has been bumped up by the number of people with COVID in the ICU. The intensive care unit has 27 more people than what we saw three weeks ago. The hospitalization rate is nearly doubled in three weeks. The graph we're about to show you Will, uh, uh, allows you to see a time lapse of that increase. Now, back on November 11th, the hospitalization rate was at 9.71%. And as you can see, it drastically increases. Today, on the right side, that number is at 18.28%. ABC 7's Brianna Perez was at the news conference today, and she is outside City Hall right now. Brianna, what did the mayor have to say about these numbers? Yeah, this is something the mayor says isn't super alarming or shouldn't be super alarming. Rather, use these numbers as added caution during the holiday season. So I'm not trying to be an alarmist, to be honest with you. I just want to really show the numbers we are today, because if we look at where we were a year ago, we were way off, way back. You know, a year ago, we were the worst city in the nation. And this is why we want to talk about the numbers where we are today so we can make sure that we do the proper and precaution. Mayor Oscar Leeser is urging the public to get their booster shots. According to the city of El Paso, as of Monday, 104,000 booster shots have been given. The number, the number of new breakthrough COVID-19 cases this past CDC week was 1,443. They encourage everyone to get their booster shots to keep this number from rising, but are hopeful that with 71.2% of the population ages 5 and up and 92.3% ages 65 and over being fully vaccinated, that won't be a problem. Still, as the holidays are here, they encourage people to wash their hands, wear masks and social distance and get vaccinated. Now, the mayor does say that they are extending their COVID site hours and that they will continue to vaccinate everybody ages five and up at no cost. Reporting from downtown El Paso, Brianna Bettis, ABC7. All right, Brianna.